Dodge the balls. Yeah, that's right. I figured out your weakness. It's How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Are you ready, true believers? I love that it's the same cutscene, just now he has a back cleaner on his back. Oh, hey, you're new. What's up? Ooh, where did you go, Mario? Hello, Toad. Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mar- God damn it. Even in, a, even in a game that she's not featured in, we still have to feel her presence. Anyway. Then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, blah blah blah. Okay, we're just gonna skip through this, but, uh, basically... Just say, leave it to me. And... There we go! The room lights up. And this toad is now a save point. So we'll save our game. And there we go. Alright, we got our vacuum now. We can suck up, suck up tablecloths. Let's do this shit. We're gonna go back into the parlor upstairs. And we're gonna get revenge on those ghosts who... Gave the business to EGAD. And also get back Link. So, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I was uh, talking earlier about nostalgia for uh, the GameCube. So yeah, this is the first game I played along with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, which I also, like, I don't even want to know how much time I put in, sunk into that game. Like, having that game, like, you know, that, you know, a physical copy of that game from way back when is definitive proof that the owner was a cool 90s kid. Confirmed. They were a cool 90s kid in, like, 2002, but, <laughs> like, still a cool 90s kid. Uh, alright. So don't mind me, I'm just collecting, you know, back ducats, as it were. Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? I mean, is it really Lime Green? I don't know, I'm, I mean, I'm not... I feel like that's a different shade. Whatever, now's not the time to be discussing art. Which is ironic, because... These guys are art. May you wander lost in the darkness forever! You afraid of the dark- eh, I mean a little bit. I- I will fully admit that I do sort of get freaked out by the- Freaked out by the dark. I- Like, I know we- I know we built that up as a childish thing to be afraid of. But like, you know, the dark is a very legitimate fear. I mean, you can't see shit! It's simple! There could be a psycho murderer with like- a double chainsaw right in front of you, and you wouldn't even know. Like, that's a problem! I like being able to use my eyes. You whiff your sure you can. Alright, there we go. So yes, as you catch all the ghosts in the room, or find a toad, or, you know, complete other objectives, the rooms will light up. And when rooms are lit, ghosts can't enter them. They are afraid of the light. We also got this treasure chest, which we are going to open by sticking our penis into it. I'm not the first one to make that joke, but... I mean... Oh, wait. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so now he'll... He's just opening up the map to show where the key goes to, but, I mean... I mean, come on. Oh yeah. He even, he even says, oh yeah, like... <laughs> like, it, it, it's low-hanging fruit, but... Like, it's... It's very delicious low-hanging fruit. It's very juicy and ripe. Much like my low-hanging fruit. Hey! Let's go into the next room and just keep hunting some ghosts. God damn it. The anteroom. room. Okay, what the- This has confused me since I was a kid. What the fuck is an anteroom? room? I still don't know what that is. Uh, oh, new kind of ghost. Oh my god, it has twice as much health. But it's not a problem. So yeah, what the fuck is an anteroom? Like, I can't tell. Like, from the example given in this, it seems to just be a room with nightstands in it, and that's it. Like, I honestly don't know what this is supposed to be. I don't know, somebody will tell me, I'm sure. Or I can just Google search it, if I decide that I care enough to actually do that. Okay, whoop. 
So yeah, Pink Ghosts do a much stronger punch on top of having uh, more health. But there's also much more of a wind-up and a lot more of a cooldown, so you can take advantage of that. So uh, let's search these nightstands. Oh god, no, 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 okay, we don't want that. That right there is a poison mushroom. If it touches us, we uh, take damage, we lose a bunch of our money, and we become small for a second and can't use our vacuum. It's not a good thing. That is, though, that's a gold bar. That's always nice to have. So yeah, you're, you might be wondering, like, what's the point of all this money I'm getting? And to be honest, like, not much of one. Like, there's not, there's not actually anything to buy in this game. The purpose of this money is it's basically just your, your score. And what happens is, like, this is a... Like, I'm trying to say this in the least spoilery way possible, but at the end of the game, you get ranked based on how much money you are collecting. And there's, like, tons of secrets and secret rooms with extra money and tons of treasures that you can find. And it's a lot of the appeal of the game. Like, again, it's pretty much just finding treasures for the sake of finding treasures. But, I mean, I don't know. For, for the longest time, that's been enough in-game, you know? And, it, and, you know, the process of finding treasure is very fun. And, you know, that's the main thing. Like, it's fun to do, so therefore I do it. You know, it's worth doing. Anyway, another new ghost type, Garbage Ghost. These ones have twice the health of the Ink Ghosts. And they throw banana peels around to try to throw you off. Yeah. But yeah, that's the other thing about using the control stick. Is that, you know, not only do you... Like, you know, you think that you were just tilted in the opposite direction all the time. But the problem is, you got ghosts like this who leave shit lying around. That can slip you up and do damage. So you also gotta, like, use the control stick to jerk yourself around and try to dodge that stuff. It, it, it's a very simple mechanic, but executed very well. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Uh, this is a- uh, Fuck! Get back here! Uh, yes! Okay! Okay! I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot there was the one this soon in the game. Okay, what that was, that was a straight up treasure ghost. They're very well hidden, and they're super fast and hard to catch, but if you do, you get tons of money. Which, as I said, basically, uh, just boils down to a ranking, but... You know, since, you know, as has been stated before, I played the shit out of this game as a kid. Um, I have gotten the highest possible ranking multiple times. And that's actually what I'm aiming to do with this playthrough. It's one of few playthroughs where... It's one of few Let's Plays I do... I'm planning to do... Excuse me. That was very rude, very rude. How dare I? But yes, it's one of the few Let's Plays where I'm actually planning to do more than just, like, beat the game straight up. And it's only because I've... So, yeah. I'm going to try to find all the treasure I can. And uh, hopefully we can beat this game with the highest ranking possible. So, having set that goal for myself, watch me end with, like, the second highest ranking. Uh, give me a heart. Thank you. And... Oh! Okay, nowhere else to go, but there's another toad. Save my game. Yeah, yeah, yes, thank you, thank you for lighting this up. Save the game. Yes, there is something you can do. God damn it! Very much. All right. So now this is an opportune got time to show you guys a little trick. Let's open up the Game Boy Horror. Now. I could just gave one of these for hours. So yeah, like, scanning stuff does come in handy. Like, it, it does have actual practical uses, but sometimes you can just use it to uh, get flavor text. Like this. Now, that's just not my style. Or, or I remember, like, these look kind of comfortable. No, I'll stick <laughs> Luigi, I love that. Luigi's totally considering cross-dressing. I am super down with that. But yeah, you get a little flavor text there. And you use this to scan stuff, but... Check this out. If you use your scan on a mirror... What the fuck's happening?! It teleports you back to the foyer! And you can do this with any mirror in the game. Just scan any mirror throughout the mansion and it'll just automatically teleport you back to the foyer. It is a very helpful thing to have. So now that we've done that... Oh, hey! More money. Give me all of the money. There's nothing in that money. Yeah, like... This is, this is one of those search-everything games, if you can't already tell. 
Huh? Uh, okay, I'm getting I'm getting a call from, from Professor Egad. But hang on, just let's just take a minute to appreciate this 8-bit Luigi's Mansion theme. Fantastic. Oh man, dude, if I, if I was as tech savvy back then as I am now, like I totally would have gotten that as a ringtone for like my Nokia 3310. That would have been the sickest. I detect spirits. Shit, I'm I, I'm kind of considering doing that now. Uh, I detect spirits stronger than we've yet seen. Looking ahead. I think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. Yes, we're about to run into boss ghosts. These boss ghost fights are awesome. By the way. Like, they're simple, but they're a lot of fun to fight. That, that's pretty much this whole game. Simple, but fun. Like, simple in a very fun way. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When you find one, you should first use the X button. So, yep. We're getting a practical use for the scanning. Uh, you can you can uh, scan the hearts of boss ghosts to get a tip on how to beat them. Because they have their own little uh, tricks for what you gotta do in order to beat them. So let's do that. Alright. Ah, see, this is another nice little trick about this game. So, we just had that, you know, big trail of money leading to the store. We gotta open it on no. And then the game laughs at you just for good measure. So yes, there are straight up just fake ass doors in this game. They're all over the place, but there are a lot of ways to tell whether a door is fake. And I'm just gonna show them to you right now. First, this is a real door, and you'll notice that if I suck on it with the vacuum, it shakes around. I suck on this one with the vacuum, it does nothing. Now, second way you can tell, is I'm gonna use the Game Boy Horror here. You can see that this door is actually connected to the wall. This one, it's sticking a little farther out. It's a lot more subtle, but that's another way you can tell. Like, motherfucker! Trying to explain shit, do you mind? And third, you can always bring up the map. And if the door doesn't show up on the map, then obviously it's fake. So you have a lot of ways to tell. And, and there's even another way you can tell later on in the game whether a door is fake or not, but we'll get to that as it comes. So, but there's a lot of way to tell which doors are fake. You just gotta... You, you just gotta keep in mind that that's a thing that happens in this game. Anyway, we have our... You're attacking me with books, really? I, I will not... I will not be defeated by knowledge, sir. What kind of fool do you take me for? So this is our first gallery ghosts. This man's name is Neville. Let's scan his heart. Oh, go ahead, try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Okay, that was very helpful, thank you. But yeah, when we try to turn the flashlight on him, he just fucking disappears like an asshole. That's what we gotta do. Just stay away from him for a while, wait for him to yawn, and then BOOM BITCH! Yeah, 100 health. I'm gonna get you in one suck, baby. Come on. That sounded wrong. Uh, I, God damn it! Why do you always have to drop a poison mushroom? Yes. Okay. All right. Nice. And we got a bunch of pearls. Yeah, that's another thing. You know, for all you aspiring treasure hunters out there, the boss ghosts also drop pearls. You know, which are also treasure. That is very nice to have. All right. Got another key, and it leads to the door on the far end. Let's do it. Uh, but first things first, we can actually read all of these books. Like, every single one of these bookshelves is a different thing that we can read. There's a book of riddles. Will you read it? Sure. Mysteries appear whenever people turn, but turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. So yeah, each of these bookshelves have, like, little hints. Uh, on how to beat upcoming bosses, or just hints on the game in general. Uh, we're not gonna bother because... I mean, frankly, I know this shit already. I, I am suck- I am sucking down a lot of burps right now. I am- I am terribly sorry. I don't know what's going on there. Alright. Let's open up this next door. 
God, I've always I always love this cutscene. Like you do end up skipping it after a while because it does take a while, and you know you got you got places to be and shit to do. But I've always loved that little cutscene. Like it's so well done where he turns the key and then you can see his hand shaking as he reaches for the door. Oh yeah. And, and and again, it's not it's another one of those launch title like oh damn look at them graphics type deals. But you know, totally falling for it. Like even e even now with our much more advanced technology, totally falling for that shit. Not gonna lie. Give me all your monies. Okay, now let's actually focus on the ghost here. This right here is Lydia. Like, I actually remember all these ghosts' names. That's how much I played this shit. And I love how soon this is- hang on, let's- let's try that again. I'm gonna ignore you for a minute. Do this. I love how- I love how as soon as you scan her, she becomes solid in the mirror. That's great. And, you know, I- I can tell why. It's because that's not an actual reflection. Like, you know, ref like, this game- Basically, whenever you see a mirror, like, it's not actually reflecting it. It's basically, like... I, I don't know what it is. They're, they Exactly, but they do this weird render trick where it's not actually reflecting what's going on in the game. So, uh, yeah. That's a thing. But, uh, we should probably be paying attention to this now. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of the mirror. It seems to scare people, though, so everything is coming up roses. Oh, well, you're not narcissistic at all. Seem to be proud of your hair. Let's fuck it up. Mm. Blow the window open. Oh. And now you're in my grasp. <laughs> gotcha. You know, if, if all you're going to do with your afterlife anyway is to sit in front of the mirror and do nothing, then, like, really, I, I fail to see why being cooped up in a painting is that big of a deal. Just putting that out there. <laughs> hey, check it out. Nice little detail. You can actually see uh, the toad standing out there. You can see the little balcony that we were just on. I love it when houses actually have architecture in games. Oh yeah. Alright. Yet another room. Let's do this thing. Oh god, I am so enjoying it. Yeah, like, hang on. Oh no, that's right, you can't. Okay, never mind. So, yeah, well, fair fair bit of warning. There's going to be a lot of moments in this LP where I just suddenly, like, veer off to do random shit and not explain what I'm doing. It's usually going to be to find treasure. So if, so if it seems like I'm just, like, wandering about, it's, it's either because I actually am wandering about because I've forgotten what to do, because God knows I do that a lot, or I'm, like, doing something to get treasure. Oh, speaking of which, shit, hang on. I gotta go back to uh, Neville's room, because I just remember something here. So, another function of the Game Boy. Seems like we found everything in this room, but... We scan, and we can see there's a piece of cheese hiding behind Neville's chair. What could that be all about? We scan it. Shit, okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, there, there, that, that'll come up again. I'll, I'll explain when that happens later. Just, just pretend you didn't see that. that. That didn't happen. Resume. Resume. Okay, so now the time has come to go through this door that produced ominous laughter. Hmm. Don't know this. Oh my god. Like, there's the ah. So I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just having a nostalgic chasm right now. Like I I remember like every single little detail of this room. And this is coming at a really good time for me right now, because, like, on the- I, like, as I'm recording this, I just got off a really bad day at work. It, it, was, it was one of those really stressful kind of days, where, um, just nothing seems to go right, you know what I mean? Like, you're trying- like, you're trying your best, but you keep fucking up. Yeah, it was that kind of day. And it was especially elongated, because I had to stay an extra hour. I work in food service, by the way. So, which is all- which is already a pain in the ass. But also, I had to stay an extra hour because my co-worker decided to di decided to ditch their shift so they could go get a tattoo, which which they had planned months in advance, by the way. But they decided, eh, fuck it. You know, e even though I have all this time to plan, I'm just going to, uh, you know, have my you know get my tattoo during my work shift and fuck over my co-workers. I'm not naming any Rachels. I mean, I'm not naming any names, but you know. Wasn't great. Are you trying to? 
Are you trying to spin punch me? Fuck you. Take a ball to the face, yeah! Fuck your shit up. Take that, baby. You gave me an owie, hell yeah I did. Try that at home, kids. Dude, kids, boys and girls, free lesson for you. Did you know that if you punch a baby in the face, you'll feel like a big man? It's true. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now grow smaller. Small, itsy, tiny, little me. Ga ga goo goo, ga ga goo goo. Ga ga goo goo, goo goo ga ga. Kaja goo goo. Oh dear. Uh, well, this is problematic. By the way, I did. By the way, I totally remember they were supposed to hit him with the ball in order to proceed. I just wanted to bitch about my coworkers for a second. So, excuse my uh, excuse my venting. Well, I mean, I shouldn't have to vent. We're about to vent by uh, beating the shit out of this baby. I got a lot of boiling piss in my system. We're about to take it off, take you know, take it out on this child here. So yes, this is our first like straight up boss ghost. Like I know I've been calling these boss ghosts, but uh, this is like a proper ass boss ghost. This, how, it is, how this game works is that it's split into four areas. And at the end of each area... Uh... Wait, do I still have to... There we go. Okay. I was like, wait, do I have to hit him with the light? No. It's all good. It's all good. Ugh. But yeah, you have your regular portrait ghost, and then at the end of each of the four areas, you have a special super awesome boss ghost. That's like a total badass. And that's what we're fighting right now. Already! Yeah, the like I said, this is a very short game. Like, the first area is shorter than the others, but this is not a very long game. So hopefully I'll be able to- hopefully I'll be able to get this LP done relatively fast. Even- e even though the brevity of a game is- it doesn't really apply to that with me. Which is something that I'm trying to fix. I swear. But, you know, college and work and all that shit. Busy. Excuses. I mean, busy. Dodge balls. Yeah, that's right. I figured out your weakness. It's How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run. Okay then. That... To be fair, I was like point blank. Yeah, boy. Okay, let's just <laughs> <laughs> okay, just get right up in his face so I can't possibly miss. Okay. So, wait, so one more suction to do it easily. Yeah, yeah, bounce around. Oh God damn it! What? <laughs> Hang on, let me just let me just check my text messages real quick. No notifications. Cool. Dodge the horsies again. Yeah. Okay. Dodge the balls one more time. You can always tell which, uh... You can tell which ball is going to be the real one because, uh... It'll... It, the texture will clean up, basically. Like, the first ball whose texture's fully load in is the one that's actually real. Alright! And there we go! I have defeated you, baby! Take that shit. Alright, took a little bit of damage there, not a big deal. I think that- Whoa! What the fuck?! I went to- Okay, I went to check the drawer, but you walk all the- Jeez, that was weird. Okay, pump that drawer, and yes, we get a big heart. I, I, I think you get healed at the end of each area anyway, but, you know. Still a nice thing to have. And we have, uh, our Barbie Dreamhouse key. Thank you very much. What's up, Egad? Thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. You seem a bit tuckered out after a long battle. Wait a minute, you just said that you lost contact as soon as I fought that boss ghost. How do you even know that I've had a long battle? 
He's in on it. Professor Egad is the leader ghost, confirmed. Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Hell yeah. I ain't, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. That is so weirdly... That is so weirdly selective, but that would be a nice thing to have in the Ghostbusters movie, actually. Just like have a... <laughs> you just imagine, like, you know... It, it, you can just imagine there being a room in the Ghostbusters firehouse that's like a little trophy room. With a bunch of paintings of all the ghosts they captured. There's Slimer on one wall. You've got, uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. That's just, like, this huge, like, mansion portrait taking up one wall. That'd be sick. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride. This is always fun to watch. So we take in all the portrait ghosts. And these cute little blue blobs. Professor Egad is very excited about that. Ghosts are invisible, so we need to press them into visible forms. And that one machine looked like cow water. That was very disturbing. And presto, turn them into beautiful portrait ghosts. All right. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Booyah. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. No problem. And now it's time for the end of area results screen. Neville. Lydia Chauncey. So yes, a couple of things to explain about the results here. Obviously, these are all the portrait ghosts we've caught. There are some, like, there are some optional bosses in this game, so it is possible to uh, miss a couple. And also, you might notice that uh, Neville and Lydia have gold frames around them, whereas Chauncey has a silver frame. And what that is, is you get ranked based on how quickly and how efficiently you uh, captured the ghost. So, um, like, it goes from bronze, silver to gold, and that also affects what the image is inside the painting. Like, generally, as you get, you know, a higher ranking, the pose that the ghost has in the painting will be more dynamic and more interesting. So, yeah, two golds, one silver. Not half bad, I'd say. You've caught a total of three ghosts. Damn straight, I have. And then we tally up all the treasure. See how much it's worth. Thank you very much. Five and G, five million G's. That's insane. Just from that like little bit of cash that we found. It's incredible. All right, so that's area one done already. Just three more areas to go, and I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys are too. This has been a lot of fun for me, and I hope that's come across. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I love you guys. Have a happy Halloween, bitches. Mwah. Continue. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Game over.